Any of you all have questions while we're here? Anybody want Is there to? I'm deciding that. I'm deciding whether I'm going to make a decision. So, of course. I'm, I'm happy to hear anything you have to offer. That's why this you're is here. a public I, meeting. I and appreciate you coming in. And make us us help. Us. So, uh, Chris Harris from Eastern Avenue in South Deerfield. So, good process, good candidates. Um, but I think the big picture here is like um, one of the candidates said it's not about it's it's not about Wall Street. It's about Main Street, and that's what we have in this town. Is we have a lot of diversity in citizenry here, and they expect results for what they're paying. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of disconnect going on through all different groups. I've known that from living in California and talking to parents and relatives here, but I hear it now when I'm here back for many months. So, so that's the first thing. And then um, there was a comment about dedication to public service. It's really dedication to people and getting results for people. It's not the process of public service in and of itself. It's the results aspect. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need for the town and for the area. And so I thought the questions you asked were very good, actually. Um, the first one or early one was about challenges and accomplishments. Mm -hmm. And so I would just challenge you as you go through evaluating these two final candidates to go back to previous interviews, first round, second round, whatever it was, and look at situation, behaviors, outcomes, in terms of how you evaluated their experience and what they're gonna to bring to the town. Because there's always going to be challenges um, and situations. The question is, what exactly have they done to deal with them in terms of how they worked with people and how they leveraged their own skill sets and that, how they leveraged connections with other people, and then what outcomes and results did they get? Because in the end, it should be about results. It's not about resumes that show vast amount of experiences over many years in different jobs. Mm -hmm. It's about results, and that can, that's the same for whether it's a nonprofit, whether it's a church, whether it's a business, whether it's a corporation, whether it's a town. It has to be focused on results that move everyone forward for the benefit of all. Mm -hmm. And so, so I would just challenge you as you sort through all your notes and the various uh, iterations of interviews, like what is that information and where's that proof? Mm -hmm. um, and I think the other thing is that any of us have learned in any kind of career that we've had is you always get surprises. You always get the proverbial, what hits the fan? <laughs> and the question becomes, no matter how smart you are or how experienced you are, do you have the passion and the energy to break through it and to get people together and get things done? Mm -hmm. And so again, I would look at your candidates as who has the attributes to do that? It's to, it's to get over the humps, to get over the tough times, to get over the surprises, because they're inevitably gonna be there. Yep. And where's the passion and energy? Because that's what sustains, and that's what motivates everyone around you. Right. So I guess that's I would great. just leave it at that. Really, really so it's not just about you know, experience and managerial expertise, it's about leadership. Mm -hmm. And so I would just challenge you to sort through your notes and all the yeah. different iterations you've done that way. Thank you, Chris. Anyone else, maybe from the committee, like to have a word or two about what they've seen, what they would like to share? Anything? No? I'll only move for the microphone, because I know that way other people uh, can hear me. So in review of the previous interviews and what we saw today, I took a peek at their resumes, their backdrop, their experiences. Diana has extensive experience in mass towns, six to 8,000 people. Michael's the experienced guy in, of a small city of 17,000. Pennsylvania versus Massachusetts. Are the laws close or are they not close? Um, we know that if we select Michael, there's gonna be a learning curve. 
However, at the end of that learning curve, does he naturally exceed our expectations of him and accomplish those goals and criteria that we set out? Because I do believe Chris is spot on. At the end of the day, it is about moving people forward. It's about moving the town forward. So we know Diana readily admitted work hours are challenging. Communication is challenging. We've seen that. What I did like about Michael was that steady, consistent character where he totally emphasized communication. Because I think one of the biggest things lacking in Deerfield right now is the communication. Everybody's heart's in the right place. We do have amazing boards. We have amazing committees. We have an amazing select board. But I don't think we have a facilitator driving in between all to make sure that there's a conduit between everyone. And that's really what I'm looking for as a department head. Because when I see a fracture, I see a failure in Deerfield, it's generally a miscommunication. And that ultimately sets the town back. And it drives every one of us crazy because all of our hearts are in the right place. We want to see the town move forward. Mm -hmm. um, again, I can't speak enough with regards to Diana's extensive experience in Massachusetts, whether it's public bidding laws, whether it's the mass general laws, whether it's going community to community. Um, but I also loved Michael has his master's degree in public administration. And I guess what I question is, when Michael hits his experience in Massachusetts, when he hits that learning curve, once he hits a certain point, I believe that just by our previous interview with him, you're gonna see his wings spread and all of a sudden he's gonna to start to soar. Right now I think he's nervous. Mm -hmm. I think he has been out of work since November. I think as he jumps back into the game, gets his confidence, starts to gain assets around the area and learns that we have amazing people in the town hall from Pat to Barbara to Brenda. We have this amazing backdrop and backbone and all those resources out there, whether it's MMA or all of them, you're gonna see his wings spread. If that's not in Deerfield, I can guarantee you're gonna see his name in the newspaper somewhere else because I think he is a true asset but he's got to get his feet back on the ground. He's got to build, rebuild that confidence back up and he's got to jump back into the game. And once he hits those Massachusetts laws and he goes through 30B and 32B, whether it's retirement or procurement or all of them, you're gonna see him naturally become that person. Where I, I really enjoy Michael and I think that I'm more focused on him right now is the communication piece because that is where I see this town is really in failure and it's not even broken it's just we're in failure we need a conduit in this town and i've only been here seven years and i've seen it we really need a facilitator between the boards and committees and thankfully we've had consistent pat in there posting stuff relaying minutes from boards and taking up that backdrop because without her god only knows where we'd be so those are my you know, quick notes. I think there is going to be a learning curve with Mike. Um, I think I'm a little more excited with Mike because of that communication piece and that consistency. That's, uh, that's where I would be driving home. But I'm more than happy to, if you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. If there's anything I missed. I, I mean, I just can I think I feel comfortable okay. with them, that's all. Mm -hmm. Well, we've... Um, Even though I don't a, know them. Yeah. Well, this is a super hard decision because it's... Um, there, uh, I'm kind of at a, at a point in this career here that I, I kind of know what I want. Mm -hmm. And um, for that facilitation, and it's hard to not have um, a real... You know, one candidate I have an immense amount of experience with one I have virtually no experience with. Um, they're both, you know, the one I have worked with for the last mm -hmm. seven or nine months or whatever is an amazing person with a heart of gold mm -hmm. and she's, she's always trying to do the right thing. And, um, and I feel like she's, she's kind of held back a little bit on where she wants to take, the, take this community because she has um, 
you know, been in an interim position. So you don't run out and start all new kinds of things without having, you know, solid, a solid position. Um, there are communications and, and time issues um, we've, we've had. And, you know, I don't lay all of that at her feet because we've had not enough staff in there doing what we need to be done ever since I've been here. It's just a leapfrog of this person comes and then someone leaves and then they fill in for a bit and then that one leaves and another one comes. And it's, it's been super hard and I'm really, really striving for consistency um, and, and a long, long plan forward. Um, I'm nervous about Mike in that, um, you know, I'll just be honest, it wasn't his best performance tonight compared to last Agreed. meeting. I think he was very nervous mm -hmm. about being here tonight. Um, and I, I can't fault somebody for that. That's, you know, when you're in front of people you don't know and applying for a job and who applies for a job in front of the public, it's really different. Um, so um, I, I'm very nervous about the not having as much experience in the mass laws and that experience of knowing, oh, this town administrator, knowing that person and having that network that our other candidate does have. Um, you know, but there, there's, there's also getting the town moving forward and, and it's, uh, it's, you know, I, 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 def, I can sense I have one member moving this way. The hardest part of this decision completely is having an empty chair here. Um, <laughs> no fault of the other member mm -hmm. it just life happens like that sometimes and you know where you wish you wish you really wish in this position i had somebody else to make make a decision with us um that's the hard part i'm just nervous about making it immediate uh today i, I always feel like and i've said this many times in this job every time i make a decision i wish i had waited a day um sometimes you just have to make a decision based on the information you have and move forward um but this is a, this is a doozy. So um, I I still want to think about it. I really appreciate your input. If anybody else has any input they'd want to share. Um, so the last thing I want to leave you with is something quick. It's please. the ability to naturally influence others. Mm -hmm. Because isn't that a leader? Yes. Take away a title. Yep. Nobody cares. I'm chief of police. Right. You can have my gold badge any day you want. I'm effective in my job because I communicate well. Mm -hmm. I show results. Yes, you do. That's what it's about at the end of the day. When somebody comes to me, I try and solve their problem. I listen to them. I hear them out. At the end of the day, when we fast forward the tape from tonight, in two to three years from now, who is going to have the relationship with everybody in the community and naturally lead them? Hmm. That's also, your question tonight. You're right. And I think you know the answer to that. I believe I have my own opinion. It may not, not coincide with both of you, yep. but fast forward the tape two to three years from now, figure out who's gonna walk in the room, naturally have those resources that gravitate to them, that respect them, that they've developed relationships with all across the board. Mm. And, and also just natural pe people skills. If you're a listener and, um, I mean, you don't, you don't teach those things. You can certainly, he, he has his master's in public administration. He can certainly go on the website, state website, and learn about the Massachusetts laws mm -hmm. within, you know, a half an hour. He can take the courses just like Wendy did mm -hmm. and get certified so we have a certified procurement officer within a year. Um, you know, those things are easy. It's the people skills that um, I think is really, really hard. Mm -hmm. and. Communication is really important. And, and yeah. you know, the fact that there isn't any communication happening bothers me. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yes. Am I, have I decided yes? So mm -hmm. if, if you want to wait till Monday, that's okay. But, but to Carolyn's that point, that exact point, um, I assume that I think that's kind of my issue. We did we did reach out. We got we got they um, got reference we checks. got reference checks on on all of that. Um, I just think you know yes, uh, our board, but not this board. So our search committee did. But but to your point, 
I think it's worth doing a little bit more um, background check on you know references. We our our committee has done that already. Our search committee has has in depth done that <laughs> for the two people. So um, I feel confident in that. Not every member on this board, well, two members who can make a decision have not. So, um, but yeah. Correct. Right. I would want to be on the phone talking right. to live in person, even after the first round of reference. Right. Yeah. Um, There's six months probationary period, too. So it's not. Good point for me to sneak out. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I really appreciate your comments. Um, very helpful. Um, I don't think there's a harm in wait until Monday, but I don't think um, it may, that, that may not make a difference, but I think it might give me a minute to make some calls um, uh, for uh, reference. Trevor, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. If you want to wait till Monday, that's fine. We have a meeting Monday, and then we can start, um, based on that decision, we could start our um, contract negotiations. I've talked to council, and they are sending us um, a, a generic contract that they use. Um, I know there were we we were talked about issues with the last contract that we wanted to address. Um, so maybe at that meeting, um, I'll have a copy of that, and we can okay. talk about what we'd want to do. Um, you know, at least about the contract, and we could have an executive session on that, um, and then there, start a negotiation. Okay. Is there uh, anything that would ha be helpful to you as to why I made my decision? I, I would. I would love to take a little bit of time. Not everyone has to hang out, but you're welcome to. But I'd love to just go through this a little bit and um, fill out my report a little bit. It's hard when I'm asking the questions to not, you right. know, trying to look and, and well, write all that down. So I wanted to take my time and, but yeah, go ahead and share if you uh, Well, like. one of the things that um, is, is, I find is, is very um, jarring to me is that you ask a question and you don't get an answer. You know, they, mm -hmm. you get the words and the words sound fine yeah. and the words are you know, good, they're the mm -hmm. right thing, but you're not really answering the question. Well, there was a few and, on both. Yeah. 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 And, and so I kind of, that bothers me. And again, um, you know, the problems I've had is with communication and getting overwhelmed with the details of everyday stuff. I mean, I'm not interested in being a micromanager. Mm -hmm. We want strong department heads and we want people to make decisions and we're paying people to be good managers and what we do is we supplement our department heads with going out and trying to figure out better relationships with states and fed agencies and we hustle money and because you cannot operate the town just on taxpayer money you have to be able to you know bring in grants mm -hmm. and you know i have just had no grant support whatsoever in this past year, and I have to say, it's very, very frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. then, I, you know, the only reason I do this, I mean, the reason why I said that seriously, why Mike has blown me away is because I want to make a difference. I, I, I feel people are really, really, um, you know, important. I want people to feel that just because our state and federal governments are not responsive, our local government is responsive, and that we do care about people. We care about people individually. And I, you know, that's exactly how I feel. So mm -hmm. for me, it was an instant, even though I've never met him, I, this was an instant communication connection. Mm -hmm. And um, I also feel like, uh, you know, the little details about communication, you know, how people communicate is important. I am not on my email all day. Right. And I, I if there's something important, I want a phone call. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, it's really important that we are able to be on the same page. And, sure. Oh, please, yes. You're referring to this over a longer period of time. You're, you're referring to a period of time when Wendy was the town administrator. Uh, Diana's no. been the town, the interim 
town administrator since what, February? Yeah. So that's the only period of time that you should be referring to her. And you're saying over a period of a year. I, I'm when things were falling through the cracks, Wendy was the town administrator. When postings or meetings needed to be canceled, Wendy was the town administrator. When all these things were going awry, Wendy was the town administrator, not Diana being the interim town administrator. We've I'm had, sorry. We've I'm had a lot this. of meetings that we're have not been posted. I'm sorry, here. Pat. I'm sorry. It has not happened. I haven't seen a single canceled meeting since Diana's been the interim. There's been a few. But There's it's been not, a few. It's not a, I get your point. Everything was falling through the cracks through the pr with the prior town administrator. And, and as I said, I can't lay a lot of that, all of that, at one person's foot. She's been nothing but a workhorse since the minute she set foot in this office. Yep. Things uh, are, Pat, things are home, a lot better. With I everything admit. that's going on at home, she walks in, she leaves it at the door, she hits the ground running, she's full of energy, she doesn't stop working from the minute she gets here until the minute she leaves. Some days are 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Nobody complained, well, everybody complained about Wendy's hours as well, but nobody did a damn thing about it. Well, availability during work hours does seem to be a problem. Well, her mom's not going to live forever. She's caring for her, her failing mother right now. And she already has how many years of Massachusetts experience that it's going to take the new guy how many years to catch up on. And that's probably 15 or 20 years before he knows everything she already knows. So in my mind, she's already light years ahead of the other guy. And I didn't think that he was a very good communicator, he had kind of a monotone voice. Uh, always just, he kept referring to his resume, which really wasn't the question. Uh, I've known Diana for well over 25 years. I was her boss for a while. And I've kind of followed her progression. She worked at NB Express, she worked in Southampton, and now she's working here. And I've heard absolutely nothing but excellent things about her. Good, thank you for sharing that. Carolyn, do you, do, do you have access to I, I'll just I'll give it, Chris, I'll just give an example. We had the microbursts in Deerfield. Yep. Diana didn't know anything about it. She was here in the office. Kevin and drove right by and didn't say anything. How are we supposed to get the information if people don't share with us? How is she going to know? She was sitting at the desk in there. Nobody said a word. Adam Sokolowski had a robocall go out. Why isn't she signed up? Why isn't she asking Kevin that he's driving by at 10 o'clock at night? I mean, this is the fact that the department has don't even f have a connection. It makes, it makes no sense. But, but, but the question was, in terms of process, you, did you say you just met Michael for the first time? Yes, I met him in person but, tonight. But you have seen the documentation yes. in the public yes. domain. Yes, yes, yes. I pulled it off the way Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I think um, I appreciate you giving me till Monday to yep. uh, to think That's about fine. this and talk about it. Um, and um, I'm going to continue here filling out my notes and okay. um, gathering information. So I will see you at five o'clock on. Yes. Monday. Okay. Yep. Actually, 3.30, I guess, right? Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to take a little time off and, and meet our okay. new head. So. All right. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Yes. Thank you. I guess with that, <laughs> we will <laughs> we'll adjourn, adjourn because I don't have anybody else on the board, but I'm still sitting here. So, <laughs> and you can end the tape, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you all for coming tonight.